Hello everyone, myself Ms. T.K. Tarni Priya, Assistant Professor, School of Commerce, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangur. So today we are going to see about business law in which unit 3. What is bailment? The term bailment refers to a legal relationship between two parties in common law where assets or property are transformed from a bailer to a bailee. In this relationship, the bailer transfers physical possession of a piece of personal property to the bailee for a certain period of time but retains ownership. There are three types of bailment which benefits the bailer, bailee or both. Rights and duties of bailee. Bailey has some rights that he can enjoy as well as some duties to follow. Rights of bailee. Right to get compensation, right to terminate the contract of bailment, right to get expenses. Duties of bailee. Duty to take care of the goods. Duty to return goods. After the accomplishment of purpose, it is the duty of the bailee to return the goods to the bailer. To make proper use of goods bailed. The use of the goods which are mentioned under the contract, the use must be according to the contract. Duty not to mix his own goods with the goods of bailer. Duty not to question the title of the bailer. What is a pledge? It is a kind of bailment. Pledge is also known as pan. It is defined under section 172 of the Indian Contract Act 1892. By pledge mean bailment of goods as a security for the repayment of debt or loan advanced or performance of an obligation or promise. The person who pledges the goods as security is known as pledger or partner. The person in whose favor the goods are pledged is known as pledgy or pani. Essential features of a pledge. The subject matter of the pledge is goods. Goods pledged for shall be in existence. There shall be the delivery of goods from pledger to pledgy. What is indemnity? The word indemnity means security or protection against a financial liability. It typically occurs in the form of contractual agreement made between parties in which one party agrees to pay for losses or damages suffered by the other party. Indemnity agreements for board directors. In order to attract high quality professionals to serve as member of a board of director, it is commonplace to have an indemnification agreement. The indemnification agreement protects the board of directors against liabilities, losses and lawsuits that may result from serving on the board of company. Types of indemnity. Express indemnity. This is a written agreement to indemnify where the terms and conditions by which the concerned parties must abide are usually indicated. These include insurance, indemnity contract, construction contract, agency contracts, etc. Implified indemnity. This is an obligation to indemnify that arises not from a return agreement but more from circumstances or the conduct of parties involved. Guarantee. A guarantee is basically the promise made by a third party that they will cover a person or a company's debt should they unable to continue do so themselves. Types of guarantee in business law. They are contract of guarantee, vital parts of a contract of guarantee, different types of guarantee. Thank you.